All right, hello once again, Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College. I've been going over the Fish Creek Animal Hospital case study for our textbook, which is, of course I don't have the page number here now, but it is the Terry Felk Morris uh, eighth edition of Web Development Design and Foundations, or whatever it's called. I've gone back and made a couple changes I wanted to show you those. First, I came back into the Chapter 2 stuff and I added the eye tags. So there's the beginning and the ending eye tags. Second, that should have been an href tag that I put in there for Jeff at Scott.com in the footer. So just to show you, this is now Chapter 2, so that's now correct. And that's now correct. So my Chapter 2 stuff is now correct. Okay? Chapter 3 is still wrong, so I'm going to fix that right now. I'm going to grab this BR tag that's in there. And I can now close and put to bed my Chapter 2 stuff. All right, so here's my Chapter 3. So again, I'm going to change this so it looks like that. Oh, and now that I look at it, I never put in my ending A tag. Darn it. It's best to do this right from the get-go. So let's bring up my Chapter 2 index and make sure that at the end of this, I close my A tag. Let's also open up, again, from Chapter 2, my services. And make sure that in there, I change my, or close my A tag. All right, so my index for chapter two, make sure I didn't break anything, there it is, so that looks good. My services for chapter two, that looks good. All right, so I can now go and hopefully, I'm done with my chapter two stuff. There's my chapter three, okay? That's been changed, and that's been changed. So let's bring those up. There it is. And there it is. So those are both okay. So my Chapter 3 stuff is now okay. But one thing I do want to do is if I can close this now for Chapter 3 and close this. But my Fish Creek .css file, because I've made changes to it, I should go back and I should go to Jigsaw. That's Again, I don't know why I keep going to the wrong one. CSS Validator. All right, so I'm going to come back in here, file upload, choose file, chapter 3, fishcreek.css, check it, it's green. Good. All right, so now I can close everything. So now what I did was I went back and did two things. First, I copied everything in chapter 3 to chapter 4, okay? And... I really should, now to make sure, I'm going to grab the index and the services, and I'm going to overwrite what was in Chapter 4 before. Paste. So replace each one. So, all right. So, and I should do the same thing, sorry, with my CSS file. So copy that. And paste that. And again, replace what's there. All right. I also went to the student files and grabbed the images that we're supposed to be using for Chapter 4, just so you know. And I put them into their own folder called Images. You maybe weren't supposed told to do that, but I did it anyway because I just think it's a good idea. All right. The other thing I'm going to do is, again, I, I'm, I have a tendency to not totally follow the book, but I'm going to right-mouse click here. I'm going to create another folder that I'm going to call CSS and I'm going to drag the Fish Creek CSS file into there. All right, so right now if I bring the index up, it's not going to show my stuff. Neither will services, but it will in just a minute. All right, so we'll, bring, we'll fix that just in momentarily. So let's bring up the indexes, the services, files in Notepad, and let's also bring up Fish Creek in Notepad. All right, so we've got all of our files. Now, to change this, 
we have to say that it's in CSS slash Fish Creek for both the index and for the services. So you saw before when we did this, we lost our changes, and let's see if they're back. Those are back, and those are back. All right, so it's looking good up till this point. It's got everything in it, basically, that we need to have, to my knowledge. All right, so we created the new folder. We got the starter image files. Now we're going to modify the home page to add the logo. You may not like the way it looks, but hey, that's what they want. And we're going to modify the navigation link so they look like little fish, it looks like. All right. And we're also going to <clears throat> create the new Ask the Vet page. Okay, so we'll do all of that stuff in here. And we'll modify the rules in our fishcreek.css file as needed. So, we're up to the hands-on practice. Create a folder on your hard drive. They call them Fish Creek for Mine isn't exactly the same name. It's not a big thing. I obtain the images. All right, so go to the home page. Open up index. Modify it so that it looks similar to what's shown in figure 450. So right there. That's what we're going to do first. Change the page title to an appropriate phrase. Oh, here, I'm sorry, I just I jumped ahead. So we did this, launch this, modify it, replace Fish Creek Animal Hospital text within the H1 with the Fish Creek GIF. Be sure to include alt height and width within this. Okay, so before we do that, let's take a look and see if we can find out what those are. So I'm going to go into my images here, and that's the logo. So the logo looks like it's 600 by 77. I have to remember that. So I want to come in here to my home page, and I want to remove this H1. I think they said to remove it. So replace that within the H1 with the logo. Okay, so we want the H1, we just want this to be a, the image. Image, source equal, images slash fish creek logo dot gif. I'm going to put this on multiple lines. Width equals 600. Height equals 77. Alt equal fish creek animal 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 hospital logo and that and then this now the good news is if we made a mistake we're going to know right away so run there's our logo now it's not showing it on services because we didn't add it but we now have the logo on our home page. All right. So I did this. I copied over the Fish Creek logo, GIF. I gave it an alt, alternative text. I gave it a height. I gave it a width. So that's all in there. Second, update the image, the navigation area. Since you will be replacing the top navigation with image links, it's a good idea to provide for accessibility by including a set of text navigation links in the footer. So copy the nav and paste it inside the footer area above the copyright line. Not hard. So grab our nav area here and copy it in our footer area right above the copyright line. So right there. Again, this is being done for accessibility's sake. So what did that do? Again, always go back and check to see what it did. So we've now got that down here. I'm not going to worry. I can add a blank line if I need it. Those, when you start to get into stuff like that, then you're talking about aesthetic changes. All right? So I added a blank line. So we now have that down there. We're going to fix this in just a second. 
but this is now accessible for people who can't see images or can't discern the differences. We're giving them another way to get around. So you'll see I can get now to services this way and I can get to services this way. All right. So we're making progress here. So we did that. Replace the top navigation hyperlinks with image links. The home GIF should go to index.html, services to services, ask the vet, etc. The contact should link to the contact HTML. Use the appropriate attributes and put an image, alt, and width. I believe what they're saying is that's each one of these. So if we look here, we'll notice that's 132 by 77. So is that. So is that. So is that. Good. So they're all 132 by 77. All right. So we don't want it to say this anymore. We don't want it to have the word in here, services. So I'm just going to put this on a new line. So I'm going to say image um, source equal images slash services, services dot gif. width equals 132 <coughs> height height equals 77 the alternative text equal fish creek animal hospital services page services page all right let's end that tag now we can again tell very fast whether or not we did it correctly and it oh it's the one down there so I changed it that's the good news the bad news is I put it in the wrong place not a problem just move it around so that's the area that we had in the footer so what I want to do, for lack of better words, is I want to take this line, put it there, and I want to grab all of this stuff, and I want to put it up here, in my area here. Now let's see what it looks like. All right, there's services. Good. And again, you may not like the squishy looking feel that it has. Give it time. All right, I'm not saying give it time, it'll grow on you, but I'm saying give it time because we'll be working with it as we go. So we need the home. So we need all of these. Okay. All right. It should be fairly simple to do. So I can keep. Let's see. This that's right here, all of this stuff that you see here. I can get rid of that. Whoops. And I can put in this. And all I should have to change on each one of these. So that's home. Is the name. Again, I'm going to put in each one, and as I put them in, I'm going to run it. So now I've got those two, and I'm just doing that so that I'm able to tell whether or not what I've done here, I've done it correctly. That's all. All right, so we've got our Ask Vet.
well, that's wrong, but that's fine. We'll fix it. I don't know what these little things right here are. I'm going to try to figure out what those are. So what did they call Ask the Vet? Evidently what I called it was right. Askthevet.jeff. I thought that's what I put. Maybe I just put Ask Vet. Yes, I did. Askthevet.jeff. So we've got these three. Again, I still have those little ticks there. I don't know if that's from the... That might be from the, the uh, character entities that I'm putting in there. Let me try to remove these. All right, finally, we'll come back to the contact area that's here. Paste, oops, sorry. So again, this will become contact, as will this. All right, let's take it for a spin. Still have those ticks, but it's looking more the way that it's supposed to. Again, I don't know what those ticks in there are. I'll have to try to figure out what that is. Does it work? Services, good. Now, if I go to these two, these pages have basically nothing in them. All right. All right, but you do see that I am able to iterate my way back and forth. That's good. All right, again, I want to see what those ticks are. I don't know why, but that bothers me. All right. Services, images. It's as though I've got a blank space in here someplace, and I don't know where that is. Now, maybe that shouldn't bother me, but it does, and I'll see if I can figure out what it is. I don't want to waste anyone's time going over that, though. All right, so this is now looking much better than it did. So... We did all this, we replaced the top links, save and test it. It should look similar, but you'll notice that a few final touches are missing, which we'll configure later. Bring up the services and fix the navigation area in the same way. So in other words, there's two, two changes that I have to make here. First thing is I'm going to grab my whole nav area that you see right here, and I'm going to copy it to my services page. That's the first thing. And the second, you may or may not remember, but in our footer area, we also had that. So we're going to come down to our footer area and put that in. Now, let's take it for a run. Now we're on our services page. So now notice we've got this. So we can go, well, that tick didn't work. That works. That works. Oh, I know what it is. We've got to come back here. Now we're in services, so this should say index.html. And this can now have our hashtag. All right, let's bring up our home page and see if we can iterate our way around. Home, services, good. So services, home, run services. It still looks wrong. It's not getting us to the home page, so we've got to fix that. So that's correct. Index.html, that's what it should have been. Home and hashtag for services. Why isn't that working? Let's refresh. We're on our services page, and our home page isn't working. Our jump to our home page. If we go to our home page, 
which is index.html, we can jump to our services page, but we can't jump back again. It's not accepting that. So there is a problem in our services page. href equals index.html home. That sure looks correct to me. We have that bold tag in there, though. I don't know why that's there. I wonder if that's what's... Well, we'll see. All right. Oh, I rem remember I said, too, we can remove all of these non-breaking spaces. I don't know if that's causing any problem or not, but I'm getting rid of those anyway. And do I have those on my home page, too? Yes, I do. This is now looking much cleaner, too. So let's go back and try it one last time. All right. So I go to services. From services, it's still not letting me jump back to my home page. So there's a problem there that we'll have to address. All right. Not this second, though. Okay. Replace this. Replace the heading with the Fish Creek logo. Did I do that? In my services page, I still have at the top, I still have my H1 tag, which is not what I want. Instead, I want in my H1 tag, I want um, to replace that with this. Oops. So there's services and there's our logo. Still not letting me jump back and forth though. I don't know what the problem is. I'll have to try to, you know, address that. That lets me go here, but the other one doesn't. Okay, well, something is still uh, wrong with that. So, we want to copy our services page into our Ask the Vet page. So we've got to fi finish this up, and then we'll be done with Chapter 4. So, what I'm going to do to make it easier on myself, okay, I now need the Ask the Vet page. So I'm just going to remove the one that I have. I'm going to take services, do a copy, paste and change this to askvet.html. Let's open up our Ask the Vet page. Ask the Vet. We'll have to change this. There's the problem with our services page. That should have said index.html. That's why that wasn't moving. And this second one should have had the hashtag. Let me just double check and make sure now at least I'm able to move to those pages. Home to services, services to home. There we go. Now we can go back and forth. Home to services, services to home. Good deal. All right, so that's all fixed. Apologize for that. All right. So, change the page title to an appropriate phrase. Already did that. I'm now on the Ask the Vet page. Delete the unordered list. So I'm on the Ask the Vet page. I no longer need this unordered list. So what you're going to see is if I run the Ask the Vet page, not much to it right now. The good news is I can be at, you know, well, I've got to fix those links too, and we'll fix those in a minute. So let's do that first. So this will be index.html, this will be services, and this will be hashtag. All right, and same way going down to here. In fact, I should do this, double check this too. Ask Vet. Good. This will now be services. 
this will now be hashtag. All right, so I'm, I'm now on my making progress on my Ask the Vet page. So I can go from my services page to my Ask the Vet page, back to services, back to home, from home to Ask the Vet. Okay, and my contact, I'm gonna make in a later chapter. But I'm at the Ask the, the Ask Vet page, and I'm really making progress here. All right, delete the unordered list. The page content consists of a paragraph followed by a description list that contains a question and answer. Configure the paragraph as follows. So there should be a paragraph tag with that stuff in it. So the first thing I want is a P tag. And I don't know why I'm a little quirky about this, but I tend to always, always put my paragraph stuff, my tags on their own line. Okay? So we put that in, not very much, but now we've got a little bit of stuff in here. So that's good. There's a start. The word contact should link to the, you already saw that. The description list displays the question and answer. The DT configures the question, assign the DT to category, the DD has the answer. So we're going to have this stuff. All right, before we do that stuff, let's go back because on our home page, we had the DL and the DT. So let's bring those back in here. And let's copy those into our Ask the Vet area. All right. And I'll remove whatever I have to remove. If you look at, at here, we just have one. So we only have one DLDT. So I can get rid of the other two. Class we want to be category. So we want it to say question and answer. So, okay, so the question, we don't want the word question in there. Okay, but this. Is the question. We want all of that to be bolded. So that's our DT stuff. Let's put in our DD and then we'll go back and we'll test it. This is a bigger dash, and so we'll have to configure that in just a minute. It's called an M dash. I don't remember how to do that, so as always, I'll jump back in and I'll type in HTML character entity M dash. I'll let the system find it for me. M M. There it's, it is. It is literally the letter M dash. Copy. So instead of this, we want this M dash. All right, let's save it and take a look, see what it looks like. All right. So again, it's coming to be. It's not totally perfect yet, but it's getting there. I'm not going to, as I had been doing, I'm going to just take a quick look here. So you see what it looks like, and then I'm going to take a look here. All right.
it. And I think it looks pretty good. All right. So we've got our new Ask the Vet page. Modify the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've done all this. I showed you how to do the M-dash. Save the Ask a Vet. You'll notice it looks different. You still need to configure the style rules. Okay. So we've got to do this stuff that's in here. And then we're finished. Modify the style rules for the wrapper. Configure a minimum width of 700 pixels and a maximum width of 1024. So for our wrapper, we want we don't want it to look like 80% anymore. We want min width and sorry, min width is 700 and we want a max width of what was it 1024 pixels, I believe. Okay, so we've got that done. All right, so there's the start. Next, modify the style rules for the H1, delete the line height, and add a new declaration. So we want to change that to text declaration center, and we want to remove the line height for the H1 tag. So that's done. Next, modify the style rules for the nav, add a new declaration, we want to center that as well. All right. We just did that. Modify the category to display a drop shadow. So in a category, we've got to add this. We're going to go more into depth and breadth of coverage on that later. So if you don't understand drop shadow, please don't let that bother you at all for right now. All right. Add a new style rule for the image to display board, no border. That's correct. We'll find out. Add a new style rule for the navigation in the footer area to overrule the previous. So we want footer nav and we want to put in this. I like to put, you know, since I've got footer already in here, I'm going to put footer nav right underneath that. So that says I only want the nav if it's inside of a footer. Did we want that left justified? I guess so. Text, oh, that's the text aligned. Save it and test it. If your images do not appear as the links, we're going to carefully, they tell you to save it in different, or look at it in different, uh, all right, so you can see it's starting to look a little bit different. Okay, there's our home, there's our services, there's our Ask the Vet. Now again, is it perfect? By no means is it perfect. This is a work in progress, but ideally what you see right now from the changes that we've made, I want to double check and make sure I've saved everything. The other thing I want to do, we're not asked to do this yet, but I'm going to do it anyway, is I'm going to go back into the HTML validator and again, I'm going to choose my file, but I want to make sure now it's Chapter 4 that I'm choosing. CSS, Fish Creek, check it, and it says no errors. So good. You should always be going back and doing that. In fact, I haven't been doing this, but I should go back and validate all of my other pages. So I should go back and I should validate my index page. Oh, I've got a B tag in there that I shouldn't have. All right. I'm 
There it is. It's not in there anymore, so that one's done. Which means if I've got it there, I might have it in my other pages as well. No, I don't have it on that page. Okay. But I can now go back again, refresh, choose my index page again, check, check. All right, everything looks good in there. Choose my next page, which was services, check. And that looks good. One more time, choose my page. I've got my ask vet page and that looks good. So I have now validated my CSS file, fishcreek.css, my home page, index.html, my services page, services.html, and finally my ask the vet, askvet.html page. They all validated cleanly. So as far as I can tell, I've done everything I'm supposed to do. Now I do believe, I could be wrong on this, some, oh there it is, uh, let's try it, 233. Again, I could be wrong in what I'm about to tell you, but I believe for the end of this chapter 5, which is the next chapter, I believe there is not an exercise at the end. Now, I could be wrong, so that's why I'm checking. Okay, there's hands-on research, focus on web design. Okay, I guess there is. So, it says here, examine this, what type of organization is used, is that the most appropriate? Review the recommended design practices. We're going to assume we've done that. So in other words, there won't be a presentation for chapter five. So the next one when I come back will be in chapter six. And in Chapter 6, we'll be coming back and working on the Fish Creek again, and you can see how we're going to make, make it look different. All right, so I'll be back with that shortly.